I'm going to bring up uh, David Stay. Uh, most of you, like I said, have been talking to him. Uh, he played Mandar on the Photon TV show, and uh, he's uh, got some great stories uh, to tell you about that. So uh, I'm sure he needs no introduction at this point. David Stay. Let me just get this over with for the fans. Let the darkness grow! Hey guys, first of all, I gotta tell you, this has been really awesome. I gotta thank Jason. And Jason helped me. And Randy. And what the hell? Zach, Zach, and Zach. We're gonna have a comedian coming up, so I just wanna warm you up and I wanna give you a joke. Because anybody who hung out with me this weekend knows I love telling jokes. And this you can tell your grandma or your pastor. A little polar bear goes up to his sister and says, Sis, am I really a polar bear? She says, well, yeah, I'm a polar bear. You're a polar bear with polar bears. A little while later, he's going to his mom and he says, Mom, am I really a polar bear? She says, yeah, your dad's a polar bear. I'm a real polar bear. So that night, the dad comes home, goes to his son's igloo and says, Son, I understand you might be having a little identity crisis. You don't know whether you're a polar bear or not. Is that true? He says, well, yeah. He says, well, why? He says, because I'm freaking cold. <laughs> Anybody have a question for Amanda? Oh, thank you so much. God, what's on your mind? <laughs> My favorite episode was when Bodie Lee tried to save Evan Kylie, tried to bring him back to the light. And uh, it was just touching, you know? And Evan was a good guy, but they killed his babe. And that put him over the edge. And that's when he went to the dark side. <laughs> Anybody? How long did you Eight months. Eight months in Tokyo. How did you handle all the groupies during filming? <laughs> I'll tell you the funniest thing ever. <laughs> First of all, Photon never aired in Japan. <clears throat> but when I would get to the studio, now here you have autograph books. In Japan, they have these little cardboard white tiles. I get to the studio, and there'd be all these little girls, and they don't know who I am. Autograph for the Gashimas, autograph for the Gashimas. So before I go down, we sign these autographs. But when I got back to New York, I was very famous with 10 year old and mothers. <laughs> I'd be in line at a supermarket. Mother would say, son, son, it's Mandar. <laughs> to this, this is what's fantastic about Photon. This is what's fascinating about it. To this day, half my Facebook friends, and I have like 700 of them, are Photon fans. My name's David Stay now, and that's a whole Screen Actors Guild thing. But a month ago, I'm at the gas station. A woman comes up to me and says, you Mandar? <laughs> to this day, it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> and it's great. The one thing about Photon, I actually, actually got a couple of conversations over this weekend, was that it actually did touch, move, and inspire many people. There's children. Even though I was the bad guy, you love me. <laughs> you love me. I'm going to make you die slowly. It was so much fun, man. It was just, it was just too much fun. Timmy, you farted on my neck, man. Want a story? And I've been a germaphobe since I was like 16 years old. Not a Howie Mandel germaphobe. But I'm, she's sitting in a chair, I'm between her legs and my neck, and I said, what the hell, man? Freaking Tivia. Crazy bitch. <laughs> Any 
question. Anybody? Ask me about my life, I dare you. Yeah. He actually ate pop rocks with Coca Cola and it blew his head off. <laughs> I have no clue, man. I don't know where that guy is. <laughs> I'm sorry? Tell them how you got All right, you want to hear the boot story? Yeah. Okay. I was hired to play the role of Dead Sheriff, D E D. Dead Sheriff, bad guy. And they told me oh, there's a scene you wrestle with a bear. I said, oh, that's awesome, man. I'll wrestle with this bear. They said, no, 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 no. The, the trainer is going to be your, your double. I said, all right, but don't do it, you know? No, 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 no. So we go out, and I buy, they get me these boots, they give me like $300 worth of clothes. This is not a happy story, folks. <laughs> Two days after they get me all the stuff, the freaking bear killed the trainer. <laughs> the producer had an argument with the director, they couldn't find it, and it never happened. But I got 300 some odd dollars worth of cool, fancy, Western gear out of it, baby. Kick my heels up, man. <laughs> <laughs> but again, I gotta tell you, you, all you guys, all the fans of the show, even people that never saw the show, I had the greatest time this weekend. It was awesome. And just shooting the shit with all of you, and partying, and sweating. <laughs> it did stink sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. But it was it, it was it was a great gig, man. And again, I gotta thank you guys for shooting me out here, putting me up, man. I did a movie once. I even told uh, Jason about it. Did this movie once? The worst movie I ever did. And I haven't seen ever. Probably twenty films I've done. I never seen. Actors we were talking about. We're a worst critic. You don't want to see yourself. That's it. I did my job. Good luck. They, I gotta go out to Visalia, California. And I get to the hotel. Well, I'm sorry, not hotel. It's a motel that's kind of rented out by the hour. <laughs> and if the sheets on the bed weren't white, like those boat like color sheets, I was sleeping in the car. And when I got to set next day, Chris Mack, you don't forget his name. He's a good guy. He's a brother from another mother. But I gave him hell. I dressed him down. I said, what are you, out of your mind, man? You put me in a hotel, the sink's missing a leg. <laughs> Tile's falling off the freaking bathroom, man. What are you, nuts? I'd rather sleep on your couch, man. But these guys, man, Hampton in all the way, man. <laughs> Cable TV. I got HBO. Nice. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> Anybody else? We gotta get a move on here, man. <laughs> Anything. Anything you want. I'm an open book. I'll tell you anything you want to know. I peed my pants in bed when I was a kid once. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> you want to hear my most embarrassing story? Yes. yes. I, I go on a Sunday morning to watch football at the Chimney Sweep bar. It's a U-shaped bar. And I'm the first one there. And I'm sitting at this end of the bar, and there's a guy sitting at the other end of the bar. And every time I look up, the freaking guy's eyeballing me. I try to ignore him. I look up again, the guy's eyeballing me. Now I'm getting a little edgy. Look up again, and he's staring right at me. I said, you know, that's it. So I went up to him. I said, look, man, what's the problem? Why are you eyeballing me? This guy, I'm watching the TV. <laughs> TV's over my freaking head. <laughs> That's what, and I left. Here I you were tell us, Say that again? Here I thought you were going to tell us, he said, hey, aren't you mad, <laughs> Are there any more questions? <laughs> Most difficult day on set. When Timmy had farted on my neck. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, 
me and, and Christopher Bodie, they would get pissed off at us a lot. Because any time over the shoulder, Chris would be looking at me going like this. <laughs> and he'd bust me up, man. And then, of course, I'd do the same. And then, I'm telling you, these Japanese directors and stuff, And then you get to the point where even if he's not making faces, you're like, Listen, Bo. <clears throat> Sorry. Suicide. Suicide. Come inside. They're great days, man. And I'm just so happy to be here. And I'll leave you with one last joke that somebody gave me. A dear friend of mine named Randy. Bodie Lee and Mandar go into a bar. <laughs> and Bodie Lee says to the bartender, I'd like a light beer. Give me the punchline. Mandar says, I'll have a dark beer. <laughs> hey, I love you all, man. I love all of you.